through the journey of my MBA preparation, I would say that uh, do not give up. Please do not give up. This was my fourth attempt to CAT, and I uh, still did a big disaster in that. But uh, being second attempt in that, uh, I could uh, clear it with uh, very good numbers. So I would say that one exam cannot define yourself. So you have to keep moving and do not get depressed uh, through any of the exam. Uh, right. Second, I would say that uh, form small groups which will keep you going. Like uh, they will help you. Hello everyone. Welcome to Krako interview series. Today we have with us Divya. She has scored 99.45 percentile in the ZAT and she converted XLRI Jamshedpur. She has pursued B.Tech from IIT Gandhinagar and Today she is with us to share her ZAT preparation journey in detail and also how she cracked the XLRI uh, Jamshedpur interview. All right, so hello Divya, welcome and first of all congratulations on converting XLRI Jamshedpur. Yeah, thank you so much. So firstly, uh, can you quickly walk us through your ZAT preparation journey? How you prepared for ZAT when it all started and all that? Okay, uh, so I would like to mention that uh, I started um, the ZAT and CAT journey uh, right from the me. Uh, to, uh, 2021. So uh, right. for that, uh, ZAD and CAD had a VRC and QA section in their common, right? So I started with them. For DM, I started from uh, October. I used to see some uh, YouTube videos and uh, used to browse something that I could be in touch with. Uh, so I don't have uh, like a shortcoming in time after my CAD. So uh, after my CAT, I knew that I messed up CAT. I messed up the VRC section very badly. So um, then I had uh, this uh, ZAT as my uh, one chance. Uh, like it was a do or die for me that I need to prepare well for ZAT. So without any second thought, I joined Kraku because I, I was a Kraku member last year also. But unfortunately, I could not uh, crack my DM cutoff. So this year I started um, like after CAT uh, in the first week of December. So um, I used to uh, take the lectures and uh, as the time was very less, it was only one month of time. Uh, so I used to solve uh, the previous year questions, um, previous year uh, papers as mocks. Yeah, I used exactly. to take mocks yeah. after every two days and then um, the like DM questions from the previous year, whatever uh, Sai uh, like taught us and uh, the practice sessions after that. And uh, one thing I uh, want to mention that after CAT, I was uh, feeling a bit low, but uh, I had formed a group of three to four members. So we used to keep okay. um, like uh, each other very high in motivation. Motivated, so it yeah. helped okay. me in DM too. So uh, they helped me in uh, like we uh, got new ideas in the dm section by discussing so i think that's an important message that we need to have uh, small groups and definitely crack you helped me a lot great so now uh, so can you tell us how many mocks did you take for that and how did you come up with your final exam strategy i think dm was your weakest section so how did you prepare for that section how did you improve and finally what was your exam strategy the final strategy that you implemented so firstly, I would like to mention that uh, I gave uh, papers from 2014 to 2020 as mocks okay. and kept 2021 as reserve for my uh, mock before two, three days of exam and okay. uh, two, three crack you mocks, I would say. And uh, apart from that, I uh, kept on analyzing the mocks. After each mock, I used to see that what went wrong. And uh, like DM is very unpredictable section. So if I'm thinking something else, uh, something else, uh, the, per the person in front of me will be thinking. So uh, I need to adhere with the answer key provided by Excel. So I started with the uh, like uh, preparation of dm by understanding what uh, the answer key needs from me like uh, how i should okay. think and uh, this uh, right. was given uh, to me by the past year papers so okay. this was one uh, the mock and dm yes as i mentioned i used to go through uh, some youtube videos and also uh, the lectures by sai Okay, right. So basically for DM, the past year papers are the most, uh, you know, the best resources yes. available out there. So yeah, exam strategy, like how, what was your exam strategy? Like, I think there's no sectional time limit in the ZAT. 
so uh, what was your order of attempting and how can one come up with the right order of attempting okay so unlike cat that uh, give us the comfortable time that uh, we can uh, right. choose our own questions and choose our own strengths so i would say that uh, we need to work on the new topics but we need to identify our strengths first so um, in my case uh, like my strength was uh, qa section but uh, uh, in the exam the d day i um, like ordered it like uh, i will attempt the vrc first because rc needed a lot of concentration to read so i kept it first uh, second i attempted dm uh, so that i have okay. this two difficult sections of my um, board and i can concentrate on my qa so i um uh, did uh, good in maths like i uh, i completed my maths whatever i could do and then i came back to the vrc section and dm so this okay. was what i um, did in the okay. uh, exam right. so you can try like uh, uh, various uh, methods and various patterns in the mocks and decide a, a final strategy before the exam all right great now let's move on to the interview process of excel ri so can you tell us how did you prepare for the interview like uh, when did you start preparation uh, for the interviews and how did it go okay uh, so after um, like a bad cat i would say uh, not a bad cat but i messed up the vrc section very badly so uh, when the excelr uh, that results came out on 17 january uh, i thought that this is good and i should start my uh, preparation journey right from here so first okay. of all i so i was weak in current affairs i i must admit that so i started with uh, getting in touch with uh, many new uh, newspapers uh, reading articles and everything and then uh, gradually i realized that it is very important to work on the hr um, perspective also so what are uh, what all i collected all the hr questions uh, i first prepared my um, like tell me about yourself i watched sai ma'am's video which was very uh, like useful i put up my uh, tell me about yourself which was iterated a uh, several times till the final interview but yes okay. i started it um, i started making a book of my life like my experiences from my childhood till now which i can mention oh, in the wow, form of different amazing. situations okay. if they ask me so if okay. they ask me the major setbacks and uh, the situation where i uh, felt very low uh, so this all can help us in the situation based questions because we need to like remember what all we uh, have done in our life so right. this was the major thing which helped me a lot and then i went uh, towards the technical part like i i am a civil engineer graduate so i went briefly uh, through my syllabus and yeah. uh, the favorite subjects and the electives i did okay and uh, so coming to the interview process so uh, how, how did your interview go like how did you tackle the questions okay so a uh, one small tip to everyone from my side like uh, sure. while um, going into interview don't be uh, nervous like there is a bit of nervousness in our mind but uh, be a smiling person and also uh, do not show frown on your face so this is what helped me a lot i was uh, confident uh, in my voice also and in my smile also so uh, so bm interview was uh, like uh, very good uh, they started with the uh, technical uh, about me about my educational background uh, what my parents do and um, they asked me various uh, questions about my work ex like i was a structural engineer um, for 21 months so they asked me that uh, how why mba how uh, the journey of a structural engineer from civil engineering to mba and wh what field i would like to contribute and uh, there was a specific question which uh, yes excelera uh, people will also like uh, like to ask like they asked me that what will be your contribution when you come here so this is the most important question i feel we need to think about uh, because we will know our worth that time so bm interview was pretty good uh, so right now i'm waitlisted so i think it was good uh coming to the hrm interview uh the hrm interview was very different for me i was um, like expecting some hr questions but uh, then uh, there was very uh, technical interview in the start and uh, at the end they uh, started asking me uh, something which lied in my strength which is very important about my own city and my own okay. state Uh, which yeah i forgot to mention it is very important to know our own city and our own state and right. our own neighborhood 
so everything um, in the last 10 minutes went on my city so i was pretty confident in that and i could uh, answer and i guess that worked so it was very magical for me for uh, getting this uh, like strength points in the interview that's wonderful okay now uh, so what all other calls have you received apart from xlri and uh, i think you're going to join xlri can you tell us what's the specific reason why you want to choose xlri Uh, okay so um, when i started my mba journey uh, there was some uh, inclination towards hrm in my mind but i was not uh, okay. this sure but uh, when i started to work on my uh, life book as i mentioned that uh, the incidences I, uh, that happened from childhood till now so uh, it came to my mind in the instinct that i am very uh, good at talking to people uh, like i would not say people's person hr is not the person who handles that but uh, there's something that i would like to work not the laptop but but with people so it encouraged me okay. to join hrm and ex- uh, there is nothing best than excel in india for hrm so this was right. one of my motivation so other exams i would say i have given uh, nmat Uh, CAT, IFT, ZAT, and uh, SNAP at the end test. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I had uh, you know I have interview calls from uh, all the exams uh, like uh, NMI for NMIMS as I've been putting, and IFT Delhi. Okay, perfect. Now, um, uh, yeah, finally, what is that uh, advice that you would like to give the future ZAT aspirants and uh, or MBA aspirants in general, and also for those who are targeting XLRI? Okay. Uh, through the journey of my MBA preparation, I would say that uh, do not give up. Please do not give up. This was my fourth attempt to CAT, and I uh, still did a big disaster in that. But uh, being second attempt in ZAT, uh, I could uh, clear it with uh, very good numbers. So I would say that one exam cannot define yourself. So you have to keep moving and do not get depressed uh, through any of the exam. uh right. second i would say that uh, form small groups which will keep you going like uh, they will help you motivating you, uh, yourself you can discuss you, you can have many uh, opinions and many ideas from that uh, specific group and okay. uh, also like uh, it is good to learn something uh, from the person who is better at it so if uh, there is a person in your group who is better at speaking who is better at uh, other sections you can uh, always take help from them so uh, one i would say that uh, till the exam comes try all the patterns and know your strengths it is very important to know your strengths yes definitely study all the topics but do not keep burden of the topics which you uh, cannot score in so uh, i interacted with uh, with who were very worried that they do not know time speed and distance but it is not important that there will be only time speed and distance in the exam so know your strengths that is uh, most important and right. uh, like next is uh, never keep baggages of the previous exams to your uh, next attempts yeah, which yeah. i didn't get that was very like disastrous but during that i went with a free mind so it helped me a lot and last uh, but not the least be prepared for changes like anything can change in the exam and anything can happen so be, be prepared that's wonderful thanks a lot divya actually you gave some very valuable insights about the sat preparation and also uh, about how you prepared for the interview uh, i'm sure it helps a lot of aspirants thank you so much for that and also all the best for your mba journey at xlri thank you so much and i also like to thank crack you for uh, giving me an opportunity and giving me a platform to influence a lot of people out there and to mention that they have the guts and they will do it surely right that's amazing thanks a lot and all the best yeah thank you